guys, Grace Gamer here. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're going to be going into some gameplay in Genshin Impact. Yes, I know, I know. Pretty sure someone's gonna say, um, don't you stream that on Twitch? Yes, I do. But today I wanted to just play the game and record and upload it to my YouTube channel. Mm, yeah, that's all I wanted to do today. That's all, that's all. That's all. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna trip on what you have to say. I'm not even gonna trip on it. But it's been a minute since I've actually done a video video. When was the last time I did a video? Let me look this, I gotta look this up. Wow, you guys, the last time I did a video was May 18th, 2022. Like an actual video, not from making it into a video from Twitch. I'm not, no, we're not, no, we're not doing that. It's been a minute, so I'm gonna say it's been a minute. But we are here because I want to get back, like I, like I said, into Genshin. I've been really enjoying myself when I was playing it on Twitch. And it's just, it's such a relaxing game. And let me just say all this, the story really keeps me on my toes. If you have not played Genshin Impact, you need to. Because the story, it, ha it has you literally like all over the place. And it's like, what? What? <laughs> and it makes you want to get all the characters. It doesn't even matter if they suck or not. You you want to get all the characters, period. That's all I got to say about that. But you guys, I wanted to get back into the main storyline. I know the last, I left off on, I forgot the world's name. I'm just going to put it somewhere at the bottom of the screen. Um, can't pronounce it. I'm pretty sure I, I'm going to pronounce it when I get into the game. But anyway, we were in this new world, going into this new world with Kale. If you don't know her, pop her up on the screen somewhere right here or right here. Hey girl, hey. So we got her with the Spiral Abyss. She's pretty cool. She has a bow and arrow and she's pretty awesome. But we fell. Let's just say we fell into a sickness and now she, they're trying to get us back to health. Forgot the guy that was with her. There's another character dude that you can get in the wish thingy. I forgot the guy's name. But anyway, that's where we are. I'm really digging the main story quest. The main story quest is really like intriguing to me and it keeps me like engaged to what's happening. I just want to finish the entire story quest, like seriously, but I know they're going to keep adding because that's what Genshin does. It keeps adding to the main story quest. <laughs> it's a big map. It's a big world out there, but we're here and I cannot wait to jump in and get started because I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> So we are in the game and I am just, oh, I'm so glad to be back up in here. Y'all don't understand. So I think, I don't know how to pronounce this world, but you guys know where we're, we're trying to get to Sumeru, Sumeru. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm, I told you I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce these words. We're going to try, but this is where we are. I am super excited to get back into the main quest and see what's going on. The volume of the game and music and everything is off for right now because I wanted to say some things because I just, I just got to say something. But the name is Tanari, Kale and Tanari. I had to look it up because I just had to look, look it up. And then you guys, when I got into the game, it told me, y'all, we have a test run of these people. I'm going to have to do, the, I'm going to have to, I'm really excited because I get to play Shogun, Ride in Shogun. Oh, if, if y'all have seen that episode on my YouTube channel, I had to fight her not once, but twice. And I'm surprised I survived and I stayed alive. Then we have Yamiya. I love her. And then this is actually the new chick that's on the block. Y'all, she has a, do y'all see what she's carrying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, Genshin. We're about to get into it, y'all. Yeah. I'm really excited and I remember her uh Sara Sara is actually the girl that we were just in the world of oh gosh what world were we in watch me look this up in Azuma in Azuma we were you get y'all know Sara's sorry I want to say Sarah for some reason but I think it's I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pronounced Sara but you know yeah you guys know y'all y'all were there she found out that, that people were being shady People were being shady in, in Azuma. People were being shady and being a little bit suspicious. And she did not like that at all. But we literally completed most of the world in Azuma. We went a lot of places. <laughs> we went a lot of places. I'm pretty sure there's more to this storyline quest. But yeah, that's where we are right now. And then also besides them, it was Bennett. I like Bennett, but eh, <laughs> it's Bennett. But let's go ahead and jump into the game play and let's see if we're gonna get into 
Samaru City in this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be for you guys, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see some long episodes of Genshin or short, whichever one. If I can get to at least 40 something minutes, close to 50 in this game, and it's going to be a lot of cutscenes because there's no, um, <laughs> there's no cars or transportation, you know, in Genshin. It's teleports. That's it. Teleports. That's all. We don't get cars. Can't drive. We teleport. That's what we do in Genshin. I literally just realized I was like, what game? What? What was I doing? As you I, wish. I, I don't. I don't. I, I forgot. I have to change my party setup. I was trying to grab some things, you guys. That's what happened. Wow. Before we get started, I need to get, I need to grab some food. I'm literally all over the place. I'm so sorry. BRB, guys. How are you guys? So we're back. I had to grab some food because I had like nothing. And so <laughs> I had to grab some food, make some food and all that good stuff. Wow. I have 12,000. Wow. Look at me. I'm killing it in the Primo Gems. Yes. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start this quest. Ah, traveler. You've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Okay, so we're looking for Kale, but she went to her room. So we're gonna fast travel this because it says wait until eight. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. We are going to, uh, we're gonna speed this thing up. And you're gonna say, wakey, wakey. And that's how you do things in Genshin. <laughs> you change the time. <sighs> Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Kale and still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. How do I get there? There he is. Hey, Tanari. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tanari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Aww. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. Something as small as you could never harm her. Uh. This sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. So what you're saying is she got too excited that she met new people. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. We're friends. She calls us friends. I'm so excited. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. When I'm in gameplay and recording, someone wants to join. All right. Let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized you were that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. Oh, yeah, we, we did a lot, and we had a fight to ride in Shogun. So just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... I just realized his ears move. Wow. Well, because Kale asked me to. Oh, she wants us to know about her sickness. And honestly speaking... I was against Kale revealing her past to you. <sighs> but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. Aww, what's up with her? So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. What? At first, Ugh. the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on affected areas of the skin. 
However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. So she could be paralyzed? What you're saying? They'll lose all control over their body. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Wow. Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. Wow, that's crazy. Hopefully there's a cure for With this. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Oh, poor Kale. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. Wait, so don't be playing with people's emotions, y'all. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you already are familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Yeah, we know the Fatui. We've been fighting them for a minute. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. Aww. However, Kale's okay. days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Yeah, they're a little bit obnoxious and bougie. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. so much suffering this makes me sad oh by the way paimon uh, kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday she also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness she doesn't need to apologize none of this is her fault at all hmm well said i hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. The Fatui just, like, tortured her. Sound like it. Torture, torment, whatever you want to call it. I wonder how she's doing now. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led her to break down this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though I Good. must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance patrols are a little too much for her now. Aww. All right, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Can we come along and help? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place. We've seen worse. Especially for someone who's still recovering, like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. We've had worse. Have you met the Raiden Shogun? She literally made us, seriously, we're fine. We are fine. No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as the Nilot Pala Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Okay. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Nilot Pala Wait a minute. We gotta go all the way up here. So, how do we get there? Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. The Nilotpala lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, and is completely contrary to its name. Gosh. Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. New tip 
I didn't feel like fighting. I'm just saying. It's somewhere over here. Did we find it? Hmm. There should be Nilod Palolotus is growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. I thought you said we can't do that. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Didn't he just say we should not do that to ourselves? One. Three. There's a teleport up here, and after we're done, I'm gonna have to grab it because it's too much walking. Hey, Tainari, we found the lotuses you requested. Let me have a look. Hmm, good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. No problem. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on other things I need. Hey, Tainari! people who are you oh tainari someone's calling your name they're dressed like a forest ranger ah yes that's amir and the others but didn't they just set off not too long ago what are they doing back so early let's go find out what's going on why are y'all here so early what's the deal uh before we do that i want to get this teleport so brb guys hey y'all i'm back just had to get a teleport i had to Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. What's a withering zone? Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gandarvaville. Wait, Tainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. That's what it's pronounced, Sumeru. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Oh, that's why I passed out the last time. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. I can control my elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. She may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. Seems the rumors about you were true then. In that case, all right. You two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gandarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Got it. He didn't want us to know at first, but that's okay. Looks like it's right up ahead. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there, in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh. Look, those plants have withered. That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Looks weird. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Got it. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. True. Even with elemental powers, 
Once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. Okay, now I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen to me? First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Do I need to be called Lay to do this? I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Dang, I have to look this up. Phone, where are you? <laughs> I think I may have to like restart this again because I'm not understanding what I need to do. Not sure. <laughs> restart. All right, traveler. We're gonna have to enter that withering zone. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't put even with elemental powers. Once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, you ready then? Let's go. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. No, wrong one. Stop. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It worked? Oh, it worked! Gotta use call A then. I'm hurt pretty bad. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Take care of the tumor? Oh my gosh. I finally got it right. Ow. Destroy the tumor of the withering. Oh my gosh. All I had to do was just press a button. That was it. Now that's gonna be a cutscene for real. Yes. Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? <sighs> All right. It's like this. Recently, the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. Aww. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Hmm, okay. No, none that we know of. Dang, there's no permanent the way? The has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Oh, oh by the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? No, I haven't. Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Downwards than upwards. That's... 
an interesting type of tree. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermin's soul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Spreading and extending a massive cavern sounds a lot like what I saw when I lost consciousness in the cave. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this Can't world, lose sight again. which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It oh. is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. So the Amazon is sick. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. <sighs> I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. All right, y'all, back to Gondarvaville. I'm still going to be doing this quest right now because apparently that was just way too long. But it is what it is. It happens. So we're not going to worry about it. But we're going to go back and head to... Is that something that I can grab? Yay! We love grabbing stuff like this. That way our stamina can get back up to a higher level. Let's start. Main quest. Oh, Tainari. You all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh? Wait. Is that? It's a bird. Oh, no. Papasia. Papasia? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This dusk bird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. Uh, you do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. That's why you don't yak things out of people. I say yak. That's why you don't snatch things out of people's hands. <sighs> yes. Uh, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait. Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her, well, I prefer not to remember that. Oh gosh. Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled? Funny incense? Let's find out. Here, traveler. Take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? No one usually huh? does. Really? You're oh, gosh. Even a little drowsy? I'm actually feeling okay this time, what? Paimon. How'd you know that she'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Wither Sorry. Zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that she would be fine. And if I may ask... When I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw when you were unconscious? What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by Greater Lord Ruka Devada, we took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was a part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. I literally was just thinking, like, say, I can't even say the name, Rikadava, Rikadavia, whatever the name is. Say that so many times. <laughs> say that like five times, fast, literally. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, 
You have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Oh, great. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermin's soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. She completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. Oh. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. The music is so pretty in here. I'm just sitting, waiting back, just chilling. Beautiful music. Where's Tanari? Okay, there he is. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hapasia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her, and she'll answer any questions you may have. Okay. No, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. No problem. Yes. All right, so we're gonna go back to the statue, and then we're going to go see Hapasia. Hapasia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. She's probably starving. Don't tell Hello? me she's gone. Hapasia? Hey, there's nobody here. Do we have to save her? Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. What's that noise? Is she okay? What the heck is that? What the? Don't tell me I get knocked out again. Ugh. Are you all right? Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Water? Huh? Something. Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Why is it foggy? What the? Are are we tiny? What happened? And where are we? Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Did we shrink? I think we shrinked, you guys. Wait. Oh, I can't. Wow, this place is huge. Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh. Let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Oh gosh. Windblade. At the frying pan, into the fire. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting things right now. I just. Oh. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. How do you get up there? Oh well. Oh, I almost had it. This is gonna take a while. Again. Okay, I got it now. Let me do it again, because I messed up. I had to do it my way, because I could not function right. Whoa, what just happened? What? What in the world? Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? Oh, God. Wait, are we back in Inazuma? We're back in Inazuma. That was like super weird. We were like we were in, in like Inazuma and then like we were not in Inazuma anymore. 
We gotta fight these things. Nah, I wish I had Noelle right now. We're going somewhere else again. I feel like I need to eat something. What in Tibet is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. <gasps> Who are you hey, telling? What's the matter? You don't look so good. I feel like I want to throw up. Don't know how I did that, but I did it. I investigated the courtyard and I made a flower. It's like we're back in Inazuma. Oh my gosh. This is this is this is ridiculous. Can we come can we come out of this? Um, crazy dream? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh my gosh, not this dude. <laughs> Somebody, like, seriously. Don't know how we did that, but doing something. Why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Oh my gosh, we can't fight him? Oh, jeez. Know my brother. Um, I'm not in denial. I think you're kind of delusional, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna be rude like you are being extra rude. His Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Uh, that is not true. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. I'm not listening but to you. Don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! What? What the? Feels like I was just dreaming for a moment there, but I can't remember what I saw. Oh gosh. Hmm, what do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Oh, there she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? I'm just on for uh, a second. Are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's all right first. Hey, girl. You all right? Whoa. Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. After giving the semi-conscious Hypatia some f water and fruit and fruit juice. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh, huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hypatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. 
Give a uh, patient a letter from Tanari. Whatever it means, the squiggly lines. We're I just see. We're just staring. Oh, so, you're friends of Tanari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. No! We're in the middle of the game. Are you serious, computer? Now we have to start all over again. We're back to where we were because <laughs> internet was acting crazy. Hopefully it doesn't have problems anymore. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble. I I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Aw, your neighbor? Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Yeah, I saw a cabbage patch, dude. Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? Girl, you were there too. No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? It's a cabbage patch. I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after oh. I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Sounds like really good neighbors. Yes, no doubt about that. Mm, okay. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Need to eat. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry, too. Paimon is always hungry. talk about Ermansoul later. Paimon is literally all always hungry. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They're our specialties, after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. Gotta make some food. Thank God we don't have to actually do it. We could just say, make awesome. a box of food. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing. And the box is a nice touch, too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. All right, girl, now we can eat. Finally. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. 
I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. You and my sister. Well, not saying that my sister doesn't cook, but my older sister, she, you know, it's not like her best subject. I mean, she cooks, but not like me. Yay, just hand her the food. Such a delicious meal together. You and Hypasia. Um, you tell about Pitch about connecting you mentioned was in Tainari's letter. With something. It's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. Really? So why does Incense allow people to connect to Ermensul. The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Ruka de Devata. Ruka de I can't even say it fast. Y'all say it fast. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection sort of with Ermisol yeah. in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm. Mm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? True. That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit born ale would cause adverse effects. Ooh. Not to worry though, it appears you've already fully recovered. I did, I did, thanks to Tanari and Kale. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew, well that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermin Soul at will. She has like one long eyelash. Did y'all see that? Wow, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher after all. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. The Cabbage Patch is back. I repeat, the Cabbage Patch is back. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermensoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermensoul will be successful. Or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermensoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermensoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. He's just staring at us. He's staring at us. Whoa. So knowledge from Ermensoul can be super dangerous. Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Because we had a nightmare, Paimon. We had a nightmare. Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Huh. Is that true? Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. What? Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. But that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, 
If one struggles with anxiety, I just pick something to those say. Those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. Aww. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recalled the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. It's not bad. I just don't like dreaming crazy things. Like, you know, like scary stuff. If I, sh if I dream about ice cream, I'm fine. Or hot cocoa. Or chocolate. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansol? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. A memory? Hmm. World forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. We wish you luck with your endeavors. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> hmm, thanks. Now that we know Hapasia is alright, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Alright, you guys, we're gonna head back to Gundarvaville, and maybe we can have, like, a stopping point in the episode so that I can do my editing and all that good stuff. All right, we're, we're back. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravitat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Hmm. Well, I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. <laughs> oh, Tanari. Tanari. Your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll the know, look. once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And, uh, how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that Despite coming all the way here to Gandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master. What is this, a secret? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. What's the reason for him to come to Samari City? What's, what's up? Don't be looking at us shady like that. Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. 
Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a the project, but I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. Hmm. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hypasia? It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and uh, most of my acquaintances are researchers. Oh, how about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amor to Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Hmm, okay. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Some say that this item is the very basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise, so I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next step, Sumeru! Lead. Uh, yeah. Oh, but wait. Before that. Yeah, we need to say goodbye to Kale. That's right. Kainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. My bad. I went too fast. Thanks, Kainari. All right, let's go. Farewell, and good luck to you both. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. It just happened. Okay, let's go talk to Kale before we head up to Sumeru City. Look at all these dogs. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. Girl, you sick. We gonna find this cure. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. Aww. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. Yeah, because, I mean, like, no one wants to be, like, look, look as, like, an outsider. Like, oh, my gosh, she's sick. Let's not talk to her. It's like, y'all, it's she's still cool. We're probably still going to worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. <gasps> Prima gems? You have some Prima gems? Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for peanut pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. It's okay, girl. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! My handwriting sucks, too. Literally. It used to be nice in high school, but I don't know what happened. I know I have no idea what happened to my handwriting. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandharvaville. Of course we will. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gundarverville again. The Bye. rangers will always be ready to assist you here. We just love her. She's like so sweet. So sweet. Let's learn this recipe real quick. Okay. Learned. A look at all that and Prima Gems too. Thank you. All right. All of a sudden we're off to see the wizard. <laughs> 
We're off to Samaru City, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And there's a teleport there. Yay, a teleport. All right. All right, you guys. I think this is where I'm going to end the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot to fathom. It was just, it was it was like a total lot, a, a, a lot. But I was really enjoying myself. It was super cool to go back to see Tanari and Kale. It was kind of sad to know that Kale was having some problems with her health and everything. I'm thinking like, dang, who put a curse on this chick? We don't even know. We just met her. But now we're in Samiro City. This is the next um, part that we're going to be heading to, which I'm definitely really excited about. I'm kind of still like trying to figure out what's going to, what's the deal with our brother. I don't know if that was a nightmare we were having, but those Cabbage Patch people need to be put in check. Can't just be giving me no nightmare dreams. Ain't nobody got time for that. I've like, I don't even like having a nightmare in real life. Like I don't, I don't. I literally will stay up all night drinking water or something. Cause and I, I don't have time. I don't like it at all. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below if you are in Genshin, which, um, you know, what world are you in? Are you in Inazuma? Are you just starting out? Or are you in Samiro just like myself? Cause I would love to hear it down below. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on the next episode in Genshin. Bye guys. Yeah.